Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So excited to have you here today and just want to welcome you to this space that we have and that we share together. It's such a blessing and a privilege to be able to pray for you. So today we're in Proverbs 22, 1 through 16 in the New International Reader's Version and this is what it says. You should want a good name more than you want great riches. To be highly respected is better than having silver or gold. The Lord made rich people and poor people. That's what they have in common. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Being humble comes from having respect for the Lord. This will bring you wealth and honor and life. Thorns and traps lie in the path of evil people, but those who value their lives stay away from them. Start children off on the right path, and even when they are old, they will not turn away from it. Rich people rule over those who are poor. Borrowers are slaves to lenders. Anyone who plans, plants evil gathers a harvest of trouble. Their power to treat others badly will be destroyed. Those who give freely will be blessed. That's because they share their food with those who are poor. If you drive away those who make fun of others, fighting also goes away. away. Arguing and unkind words will stop. A person who has a pure and loving heart speaks kindly and will be a friend of the king. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he does, he does away with the words of those who aren't faithful. People who don't want to work say, there's a lion outside, or they say, I'll be murdered if I go out into the streets. The mouth of a woman who commits adultery is like a deep pit. Any man the Lord is angry with falls into it. Children are going to do foolish things, but connecting them will drive that foolishness far away. Correcting them, not connecting them. <laughs> Correcting them will drive those, that foolishness far away. You might treat poor people badly or give gifts to rich people. Trying to get rich in these ways will instead make you poor. Mind if I pray for you? Jesus, I'm so grateful for the wisdom here that you provide. Um, thank you that we don't have to go uh, kind of searching and searching and searching to find it is so readily available in this book, especially the book of Proverbs. I'm so thankful for that. Um, Lord, I pray for those people today who are battling um, finances and are just stressed about money and worried about where the next meal is going to come from or how they're going to pay that bill. And Lord, um, I pray for provision. I pray that you would provide beautifully for them in, in, a, in a surprising way, in a way that maybe they wouldn't expect. And Lord, for those of us who um, are just spending time with you today, would you hearken us and would you speak to us about someone who may have a need that we could tangibly meet it? Because that's the beauty of the body of Christ is to not only pray for those to be provided for, but to be the provision for others that our abundance could be the supply for someone else's need. So Lord, help us and open our eyes to how we can financially or physically or emotionally bless somebody else who has a need. Lord, help us to desire to have a better name more than we desire to have economic stability. Um, our reputation really does matter and we want to love you well and we want to represent you well and we want to be authentic and we want to have on integrity. We want our outsides and our insides to match. And so thank you for that. I, I also thank you so much about all of the um, words in here about our mouths and the importance of what we say and how we conduct ourselves in this world with the way that we speak. Lord, would you season our speech with grace today? Would you season it with love? Would you help us to know when to stop, when to listen, when to um, stop the flow of words from our mouths? I know, Lord, I, I tend to run mine off. And so uh, today, as I was uh, interacting with a new friend, I sensed you say to me, just be quiet and listen and ask good questions. And so, Lord, help us to do that as well. Um, Lord, if uh, for the parents out there, I pray you would give them strength as they correct and connect with their children that you, um, I know that there can be some exasperating times and can feel like it's such a long, long road to parent well. And um, sometimes kids don't always respond the way we want them to. So I pray for supernatural patience. And um, would you give us a wide-eyed wonder to see the beauty of the children that you've given us for those who have kids? And, and Lord, help us all to be disciplers of those who are your children, which is 100% of the human race. So um, 
keep us open to the possibility of discipling others today instead of just building our own personal kingdom, but we would just have eyes open to build your kingdom, Lord. Um, We want to be wise. We don't want to do foolish things. And we trust that you will carry us toward that wisdom and away from foolishness. I pray all these things in your beautiful name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I am grateful for you. I'm humbled that you would listen and um, just, uh, I, I don't really have the words to say other than I'm, um, I, I think it's such a privilege, honestly, to be able to pray for you every single day of the year. And I know you're probably not going to make every single day, but for me, um, every time I sit behind this mic or stand, actually I'm standing, stand behind this mic, I just see what an amazing treat it is to be able to pray for you. So um, thank you, and I hope you have an amazing day.